Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to my stream of Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, I'm going to play some Baldur's Gate 3 with my wife. Pretty excited. Um, we have played this on the PC a little bit. Uh, but she has not got far in here, so it'll be pretty much a blind run from her. So go ahead and say hey to everybody real quick, Lucy. Hello. <laughs> all right. Um, and yeah, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and get our streaming screen on, our game screen. And we are going to start a new game. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a good Hanukkah. If you celebrate Hanukkah, even though... That ends before Christmas, but I still hope you had a good one. <laughs> oh man, definitely morning. How you doing, Dino? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I saw that you were streaming lately. I didn't go into stream. I've been really, really sick lately. My voice, we'll see how long it lasts, but it has been like completely shit lately. And uh, yeah, but thankfully my wife has been really awesome and uh, babying me because I'm a big fat baby when I get sick. <laughs> all right and now that that's all been said let's go ahead and start the game hey babe you're gonna want to grab your controller <laughs> uh it's okay okay all right new game multiplayer we're gonna play balance now she is not a big D, &D player she's never really played D, &D. um I was going to say put it on Explorer for her, but I think a balanced run will be really nice. 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 I'll definitely have to uh, stop by and um, say hey to you and stream soon. They don't get very many like racial traits, but they get a high resistance to fire.
so badass seeing us go through Avernus, though. Oh, my head. Where the hells are we? If you hold down X, by the way, like you can't get an item or something, you can always hold down X to always room for more. see all items. Or you can hold down R3 if you want to see something off in the distance. See how there's a chest here and when I hit R3, it'll highlight Good. it. Good. And then L3 will allow you to use the, um, essentially what would be like the mouse pointer on PC. You know, you can scroll around and then you just hit L3 again. It'll turn it off. Someone else got out. Up on the D-pad, you can jump. And then up and down with the joystick to zoom in and out. <clears throat> Just figuring out controls and getting used to it. wrong button r2 is your wheel to go into your menus yeah, i don't have a weapon weapon so crossbow is my go-to did you run through fire it's okay we have these like I don't know, weird machines we can touch and it'll um, restore our health. Oh, yep. feel you found it. Better. Where are you? Oh, I'm like, what is going on right now? I'm so confused. So whenever you're ready, we can go out this door. Just take your time, learn the controls. You run through that and then the I'll heal you. Because it's right here, the restoration pod or whatever. <laughs> restoration fucking conk. That's right there, because it's kind of what it looks like a shell. There you go. Press up on the D pad if you're trying to jump. There you go. Just a little tap. Yeah, you don't gotta hold it down. Holding down on the D-pad, that I'm will really go into. Shadow. Yep. You got it. And then if you hold down on the right joystick all the way, it'll give you like a top-down view, which I only use if I'm like in a fight and I can't see where an enemy's at. You first, ladies first, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to be, you know, a gentleman. Play sweet yeah. tunes for you. While you fight, be a badass. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to have you lug around all the gold. Yeah, you can touch the rinse lake if you want. Oh, you can even take the brain jar if you want. thousand years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more, flash behind your eyes. Release us.
You can also hit R3, and that will give you a description. See down there, plus three to strength. And if you go down to dexterity, it'll tell you how much you have in that, plus one. So whenever your dice rolls, if you have like a plus one, plus two, plus three, no matter what you roll, unless it's a nat one, um, it's going to add that onto your, uh, your existing number for the dice roll. You're welcome. <laughs> Just gonna straight <laughs> crush the fucking skull or rip it apart. You can add a bonus. You can add a bonus with square. See? There you go. That's from me because I'm a bard. So you get inspired. <laughs> I inspire you, babe. <laughs> And then you hit triangle, it'll add all that up. Sweet. You didn't even need my help. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the brain lifts from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. I think you could. You want to add my bonus, though. Damn, you didn't need our help again, or my help again, R. <laughs> nice. I do. I do have a mouse in my pocket. The creature seems unaware of your interference. It relaxes in your hands. <laughs> we are free. Freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. So, right there, just to let you know what that creature is, it's an intellect devourer. It's essentially like a dog or a servant for the mind flayers. Yum yum, get you some. brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Sure. Whatever you, you want. are us, friend. Friend. You are. We live. 
listen to our friend. Our friend, you saved us. <laughs> Oh, come here, little buddy. The creature reaches into your mind, its thoughts rattling against yours. Something inside you squirms in recognition. Friend, we will go to the helm now. I won't leave you behind. Uh, why was I forced onto this ship? To know you. To love you. To give you our gift. Nah, gee, thanks. Something was put into my eye. What was it? A gift. A gift to make you as we are. Soon you will be so beautiful. So powerful. Uh... Can you tell me where we are? In a realm where we have fled. We have fled to a realm called Avernus. First of the nine hells. We are escaping a great evil. Okay. Thank you for your time, I guess. You little creepy, four legged brain creature. We are going to the helm! My friend and I are going to the helm. <laughs> Alright. It's a brain dog. doesn't want a brain dog. <laughs> Look at how I run. My legs are so short. It's like, eh, 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 eh. Let's jam out. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to move. While you're looting everything, that's what I'm gonna do for now on. No. Just plays the best song in the world. The power. <laughs> you can also hold down R3 if you're trying to see everything. Mind flayer horticulture. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Odd things. Wonder what plane they're from. Oh, damn. I only uh, have one more bardic inspiration. I've never played a bard before, so this is going to be interesting. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squaw. You are no thrall. Vlacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Where are you? Hopefully you're 
We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. Who am I? Your only chance of survival. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. You're ready to fight. Combat happens in rounds and each participant gets a turn to act. The game pauses around you during combat, so you have time to plan your actions. During your turn, you can move, take an action, and take a bonus action. You can see your actions and bonus actions in the action radial menu. Hit R1. Um, yeah. Vicious mockery. You have a fit for letter. Uh. Some sweet tunes, man. <laughs> you don't like my tunes? Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, you did get hurt pretty bad. There you go. Alright. Perform old time battle. That's a healing potion. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say to that guy? Uh... Nice. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. I'll take these. Now, these are throwing the items. Hell. Yeah, you can put a crossbow on.
That way you have a little bit of uh, ranged attacks too, just in case you need them, you know? Something's really far away, you might want to shoot it with an arrow or a bolt. I'm gonna put that on. If I can use it, that is. Um. Oh, light crossbow. Does more damage. I'm sending all this stuff to you. Not this. But this. Am I proficient in this? Yep. Wonder if I can dual wield this and still be proficient. Do you have another axe or no? Oh, you do. Um, I'm not sure if I can do. Ah, I can dual wield it. Sweet. <laughs> dual wielding little small axes that'd be terrifying a gnome running at you with two <laughs> axes you're not in the north pole anymore <laughs> oh shit you okay You're all good. I already told you how to get to the inventory. God, you don't listen. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take this camp supply and send it to you. This Lazel doesn't need to be holding on to that. Actually, I can send it to our camp. Oh, we don't have a camp yet. Never mind. If you hit R1, by the way, it'll show you stuff in the world. Or not in the world, but in your inventory. And if you're trying to put it into like your camp supply uh, sack, you can click on it. That makes sense. Or it does, just saying. And that works on everything. Your keys, if you hit R1, you're just looking in the key chain and then if you hit it again, you're looking in your inventory and then you can change it to the left. <sighs> I got my bardic inspiration back. Yeah, these uh healing conks here. <laughs> Um, they give you all your spell slots back or your any any kind of spell if it's not a cantrip like cantrips you can use infinite amount of times uh, but if it's a spell you do have a spell count on it so whenever I hit R1 if you look at the bottom and you see bardic inspiration how it has those three little uh, lines that's how many times I can use it and then my spell slots my level one spells right there's a Roman numeral I I can use twice just to give you an idea of how spells work. The ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Ooh, maybe I should use a short sword. Yeah, I'm gonna use a short sword. You hold square down, by the way, and you want to select multiple things. And when you're in something, um, it'll allow you to select multiple things and then send it to wherever you want to send it. Like this. You're welcome. Went straight into your pockets. 
It's magical. You're welcome. I'm looting for you. I feel like I'm, you know, helping you out. Not only am I playing you awesome ballads, but I'm also looting stuff. isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. Let me out! Right? You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. Oh shit. Oh, there's a bird. Rip the pod's lid and just pull that bitch. There you go. Damn. Oh, come on. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? I thought she said this shit. Oh, you can try it again, but with strength. Won't give up. Get it this time. Nice. You're getting some good rolls. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. At last. Thought I was done for. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gith with you. You keep dangerous company. <sighs> well, dangerous company is what we need in a fight now, isn't it? Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Um, did you feel what I felt just before? We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. But that'll have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? Uh, all right then. Let's get going. I'm John Wayne, by the way. Shadowheart. One moment. Um, what was that? It's nothing. Trust me. There's no time to spare. Lead the way. Doesn't look like a whole lot of nothing. Got a beast of a barbarian with us, though. Ripping the fucking pot open. <laughs> Uh, well, you know. You do what you can where you can, right? <laughs> <laughs> you lead the way. I'm, like I said, I'm just here to play sweet tunes <laughs> and help you out where I can. Or inspire you. That's what I said. <laughs> Need a key. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna take this, which you can hit square if you want, but I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna send it to camp. It actually comes into play much, much later into the game. Pretty cool. I'm sure there is. I mean, I know there is, but I'm not gonna tell you. Because it's your playthrough, not mine. 
I don't want to take that first experience away from you. That sense of exploration and wonder. <laughs> uh, pour me some Why more coffee. Do time. you need some more? Okay. Into that sphincter. <laughs> oh shit. Is that a oh that's a scimitar. I can't use that. Maybe I can. Let me check real quick. Skra. How many hosts of these gay infected? No, I am not proficient in it. I am in the rapier, but you can, I don't think you can dual wield rapiers. Yeah, it's a finesse weapon. Your lady's normally going to use like a big fuck off hammer or sword, like a great sword or, you know, an axe that you already have, obviously. She's usually going to use like a two handed weapon that's going to mess people up. I'd actually, with a barbarian and. You don't have to do this, but I would keep like a badass hammer on you, a badass axe, and a badass um, sword. That way, when you're in a fight, you can switch between either and Another help brain. yourself out, you know? You're like, oh, well, this isn't doing enough damage because they're, you know, uh, resistance against bludgeoning damage. You can switch to a sword that's got slashing damage. Stuff like that. And then you should always have like a crossbow or a bow on you for piercing damage and enemies that are far away. You didn't want to loot this dead thrall? Walked right by him. You can hit R3, like hold it down, and it'll show you like all the stuff that you've looted and haven't looted. A rune? Sure. But for what? Okay, I know that, you know, when you're a kid and your parents took you to the store, they said touch nothing. But in Baldur's Gate 3, you want to touch everything. <laughs> sure. The dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. No. Go back through the sphincter. <laughs> uh, I'm so fucking childish. This up. I'll be back. You continue forward. Don't mind me. I'm on a mission. <laughs> I'll be back. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Odd things. Wonder what plane they're from. I just need to see if there's something over here. You can see me running. I'm a purple little gnome running around. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. I would give yourself a save, just in case we have a wipe. 
this will be your first battle. Um, so, yeah, here, I'll do a save. We'll uh, name it Lucy's. Okay. Save it. I don't think I'm going to find what I was looking for. I'm going to check up here real quick and then if it's not over here. Um, it's a purple container. You've never heard of something called Fluffernutter, but... It is <laughs> a D&D equivalent to a uh, Molotov cocktail. You're like, Fluff or Nutter, what are you trying to say, Mr. Wayne? Just don't mind me if I'm ever picking up barrels and sending them to our camp. Well, not barrels per se, but uh, like fire barrels or barrels full of alcohol. Don't mind that, okay? Just don't mind it. Just think of me as a gnome that likes to hoard booze and fire barrels. Or gunpowder barrels absolutely I'm a strange strange little man <laughs> shadow hearts I know she walks normal I am like the goofiest looking motherfucker in the world <laughs> You know, I don't think you could make that jump. No. Used to, um, in the original um, early access, you could go to the front of the ship, but now that's all gone. Pretty cool, though. You got to see Avernus kind of underneath as you were fighting on top of the ship and everything. Okay. And then I'm gonna do one more save, just because, just because um, uh, it's gonna save itself. But just because, oh my god, now this is gonna be fucking confusing as fuck. Because <laughs> I'm first player, I should have, I should have had you start the game up. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Man, your woman looks like she's been in some fights, yo. deal with the geek after we escape. We need to get out of here. Now. Now, real quick, you see the number up top, how it says 15? We have 15 turns to get the fuck out of this ship. Or we're gonna die. Secondly, I'll just give this to you because you are a barbarian. It's not really spoiling anything. Um, you see that sword? You can get it. I mean, absolutely, you can run the whole game with that sword, but you can get it. So if you want to kill him, we can kill him. If it gets too hairy, like we think we're going to die, but we can get the fuck off the ship, then we can do that. So totally up to you. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Pipe 
Does this use a spell slot? I don't think it does. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Are you sure we're gonna be able to get through this? Flourish. Maybe I should know where this is going. Nice, critical hit. Save on the flourish, though. Forgetting that I can press up on the D pad Farewell. to jump. Got to press on. Oh, I should have gave you long strider. You gotta hit triangle. Oh, never mind. I was like, thank you. We're done. Yeah, if you want to knock somebody out, you can. Um, essentially turn this on toggle non-lethal attacks oh because I can't make it all the way over there I can if I jump. Pick this up. I wouldn't get too close to uh, the fire boy, by the way. I'm going to be doing something that's going to hurt. You're too close. Need to act fast. Moving. Another fight. Let's go. You don't have a crossbow? 40% chance. That target is humanoid. Check in your inventory and see if you have a crossbow equipped. You do not. So go over to your ranged weapons on the right side. Or, yeah, you can click on a crossbow too. That doesn't, you know. Yeah, just click on it and then it'll show you all the weapons. Yeah, two out of nine. That's not bad. You're going to roll a d8 plus you have a plus one. Oh. Um, yeah, well, your action was putting that on. Alright, well I guess I'll give Guiding Bolt a chance. And I missed. I kind of figured it is a 40% chance. Ignore the devil. We must take the transponder. Okay, I'm gonna jump and try to get closer over there. Okay. Now let's take <gasps> this place in the world. Again, don't mind me. 
Oh, I can't place it in the world. Okay, it'll have to be the next turn. So let's do Vicious Mockery. Uh, I will uh, do Bardic Inspiration for you next. Double the D. Still missed. Your spine this ship mine. hits the ground. We're dead. There we go. Can I place one more? Nope, I didn't want to go into that. It's whatever. <laughs> I guess we'll have a pearl. That about killed me. Er, yeah. That about killed me. Somehow I took damage on that. Yeah. Okay. That's good. You could probably bring Lazel over now. Just gotta wait for the fire to wear off. See how it's red right there? That means you don't want to move into that because it's going to hurt you. I was hoping that would do more damage, but I guess not. Okay. He is super dead. might not get this one we might My have to cut and run true. she can get close to him might be able to get a jump to get closer to him oh yeah she can jump straight over to him Oh, you must have used an action. You can rage and then go over there and uh, swing at him. It deals two extra damage with melee and improvised weapons. Yep. So you'll still be able to take an action. Okay. Take this shit for Damn, outright killed Lazo. Um, yeah, with the Mind Flayer down, kind of makes this encounter a lot harder. And I think I made it harder on us by uh, exploding those barrels. I thought it was going to do more damage to the devil, but it definitely did not. I ran over this way. 
you skip it? Huh, that's weird. I'm ready. You move away, he's gonna have an attack of opportunity, I think. I don't know if he's, uh. It's okay. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can throw items. Oh, no, it takes an action to throw an item. Um, but on your next turn, you can throw an item at her and heal her, or go over to her and actually help her up. Whenever you're doing stuff like that, what I normally do is hit back, like all the way back on the joystick so I can see where I'm, you know, doing. Jesus, Lazel, relax. You're only dead. Calm down. Or wait, not dead yet. Almost dead. Yeah, helping somebody up takes an action. Oh yeah, we have some devils that are running up on us now too, from behind. <laughs> you the sticks. Okay, I'm gonna try to get us out of here. I'm gonna give somebody some bardic inspiration. There you go. Hopefully that helps. Come a little closer. Um, I'm just gonna smash him in the face with my mace. <laughs> yeah, then you can go over there and help Lazel up if you want. She's only gonna have one hit point though. <sighs> And then your rage is going to go away because with your rage you have to either hit somebody or get hit for it to stay active. You'll learn this as you go. You know, we're still right here at the beginning. Uh, yeah, I can knock them off balance, make them prone and stuff. Oh, sometimes you can shove them into a pit and they'll die instantly. Try shoving. Yeah, I mean, you're a barbarian. You got the strength to, you know, do it. Yeah, it's just being weird. I will ascend. Oh, right there is her healing. If you go to the left. One more. See down there? Second wind, you can heal for two to eleven hit points. Wow, she got eleven, so she went to full health. A uh, healing potion heals you. It does what you think it would do. How much? Um, I don't know. I'll have to check. Wow, I dodged both of them. That's awesome. I did. <laughs> I really did. Like I said, I'm going to try to take these guys out real quick so we can get out of here. But... Well, sh yeah. This dude, oh, 4 to 10. Oh. Oh, I forgot I had these. Alright. Let's fuck this guy up. Um, yeah, I don't, I know this is all my fault. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> Who would have thought that a devil would be resistant to fire? Come on. How am I supposed to know that?
You can use Lacerate. Lacerate will have a chance for two turns to cause bleeding. Bless you. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> What's new? He's got really high AC though, because if you come over here, you hover above him and press, I think it's up on the D-pad. Yes. Up on the D-pad. Oh, what? Oh, you did? Okay. I was like, wait, is it? I don't think it's going to let us see um, what his stats are. Jeez, they're missing me. That's awesome. The intruders. They must not escape. There's Shadowheart. Let these <sighs> I'm carrying the team right now. <laughs> I'll play some sweet tunes to our death. on you, babe. Critical miss. Man, they can't touch me. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed over there. Just gotta make it over here. Oh my god. I think I can make it though. As long as he cannot hit me. You're not a distraction. Okay, we made it through. The Helm's alien transfer. Sorry, you couldn't get the sword. You made it in time. No, that's a hard encounter for your first encounter. It's supposed to be hard. You did just fine. You did really well, actually.
Him, how am I bloodier than you? As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. My head doesn't look like it fits my body. <laughs> it looks bigger than me. Just saying. By the way, there is alchemy in this game. So we can... Fresh water. There must be a settlement nearby. So we can uh, make like healing potions and potions of accuracy, which probably would have helped in that fight. Because we were missing every shot. I'm gonna wake uh, Shadow Heart up here in a second. I'll let you come on over first. Um, let's wake her up. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? <laughs> Actually, perhaps it was some dramatically timed divine intervention. The divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. So, I suppose it's not impossible. Um, but now what? First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. True. So you're saying we need to stick together? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Alright, fine. Let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Well, technically, I didn't free you. Lucy freed you. I was just there to help you up. <laughs> oh, by the way, whenever you want to level up, you hit L2, and then you can hit R1. And that'll go straight into the uh, character times. screen to level up. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Sweet, I get an extra spell slot for my level one spells. Jack of all trades? What is that? Your vast experiences make you more likely to succeed in any undertaking. Add half of your proficiency bonus rounded down to ability checks that you are not proficient in. That's fucking awesome. Song of Rest. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Got some new spells. Hmm. I already have Speak with Animals, so that'd be dumb to take. Um... I don't think we're going to find many uh, creatures that have three or less intelligence. Oh, I kind of want this. This or this. Dissident Whispers. That's what we're going to take.
Okay. Um, I don't know. Sleep out. Yeah, uh, actually, yes. And then out with healing. No, not healing word. I thought it was healing touch. Healing touch sucks. Because you actually have to touch that person to heal them. So instead of healing word, you can just see that person and then it'll heal them. She got another spell slot unlocked. Channel divinity. You gain the ability to channel divine energy. Starting with two effects. Turn undead and an effect determined by your domain replenished by short or long rest. Turn undead is really good. Especially when you're surrounded by a bunch of skeletons. Um, health increased. See this right here. Cure wounds. Yeah, heal a creature you can touch. It's garbage. Um... Inflict wounds. Eh, we don't need that, but we do need blessed. That will help you. Command is fucking awesome. You can legit command somebody to stop and they lose their turn. Yeah. She is going to be our healer slash um, buff. Like party buffer. Gonna be what a cleric does best. Give you buffs and um, heal you when it needs, when you need to be healed. Although I'm a bard, so I'm doing the exact same thing. I am going to send this potion your way. I feel like that'll be more useful to you. send a camp I'm gonna send all our food to camp by the way that's one thing I love that they change you can actually um, put your food in the camp and still use it before it wasn't like that and it was very obnoxious because it's like oh I got to carry all this food around and take up space like <laughs> that's good you can send it to camp too, because that's camp supplies. Or camp food or whatever. Nope, you don't need it on you. You can send it straight to camp, and then when we get to camp, we can um, use it whenever we want to take a long rest. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to send this to camp too. I'm going to send that to you. You can carry all the uh, gold and heavy stuff. I didn't know. You got to check your camp supplies. Go into your inventory and then the pack, camp supply sack. Go into it. No, it, it's in your inventory. See the uh, backpack? You don't see the backpack next to the purple pouch? Mm -hmm. Yes, and then you hit X on it to open it up, and then there's your fish. And then if you hit square, you can send it to camp. See where it says send to camp. Then if you hit R1, go back in there. Sure. And then hit R1. See, and then that's everything in your inventory. Say you wanted to place some stuff in your camp supply sack. Now you could go over there, click whatever you want, and it'll go into your camp supply sack. It, the camp supply sack is just where you put food so it's not littering your inventory and making things more cluttered. That's all it is. Just like with uh, keys. So if like I went to my keychain, see this is the inventory inside. If 
you know, I had keys laying out, I could grab them up and put them in my keychain, and then they're not littering my inventory. You also have filters with L3, stuff like that. Um, send that to you. That. And that. need somebody that can uh, pick locks we're gonna have a rough time it's not impossible to get around stuff without lock picking but definitely gonna want somebody to have a little bit of lock picking you know no not at all Sorry, I'm uh, picking up some dagger fruits and stuff so that we can the sneeze. Chew. Right here. Dagger. I don't want it. Maybe in a little bit I'll roll with some daggers. There's some pretty sweet daggers in this. Just um, you're fine. Intellect of ours, yeah. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. Mm. Let me strike true. Wow, critical miss. Man, my bard's putting in work today. <laughs> Shadow Heart is doing very poorly. And I. No, I can't. Wow, 90% 90, 90 and I still wasn't able to hit him. You fight well. Nice. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. We gotta find a second, or well yeah, second companion, but another companion so that you have somebody rolling with you too. You want a magic user a uh, rogue or uh, Lazel. <laughs> uh, or you can have another barbarian. Eventually we'll be able to get uh, 
two different types of druids to help us out with. Don't forget about R3, by the way, if you're ever like, oh, I, I don't know if there's any loot over here. God, my guy's so short, he can't climb shit. Ooh, poison? Yes. Oh, potion of speed? I'm gonna give that to you because I think... Uh, I'll hang on to it and then... If... <laughs> Thanks. I was gonna say I'll hang on to it and then I'll throw it at you, but now maybe I'll just throw it onto myself. Next you're gonna be like, you could also use a potion of growth too, you short little shit. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I, sh I should have just played as a half elf. Where? Nope, that's not where we came from. You're good to explore over there. Yep. Look at how I jump down. I have to sit down and then <laughs> hop down. Just to give you a heads up, I am picking up the thieving tools for the time being. Um, unless we get somebody that is actually like a rogue or something. I lost where you're at. Oh, okay. I thought you were over there, but I wasn't sure. I do have speak with animals, so if you want me to talk to animals, just let me know. <laughs> hey. Your favorite. Hey, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. <laughs> you can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Shh. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. Now. I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. How dare you hold this knife up to me, so... By the way, I love how we're just standing there watching this happen. <laughs> Fine. I'll do this. Well, they could duke it out. <laughs> you wretched little. <sighs> Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apology accepted. Could have done the same. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Uh, 
Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Well, I do know. We don't want them in our heads. No. Of that much, we can be certain. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? I guess we can start by traveling to other odds and by ourselves. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Nice. Nice. Now you can level them up. Now, there. I just want to let you know about rogues real quick. You can make rogues into an arcane trickster, which means that they'll have like spells. If you don't feel like using spells, go with um, either an assassin or a thief. Um, if you feel like I'm not ready to deal with, well, like all the spell stuff go with uh, an assassin or a thief and they then it's pretty easy to determine you know what's going to be what but I don't think that that comes into play until level three anyways um let's see I'm gonna give a star in my thieving tools There's a boar over here. Look what is the TV. Still alive, so that's progress. I'm gonna go talk to this uh boar. Away! Away! Calm down. I won't hurt you. You're all the same. Too many of my kind died because of your spears, but not me! I lost where you were at. I ran off, I'm sorry. <laughs> By the way, if you want to, like, split your party, you just hit triangle. And then if you hold square, you can group them back up. Get it R3. It'll show you if there's anything to pick up instead of having to hold X. That's usually just when there's a cluster of stuff down and you're trying to get multiple things. There, a mind flayer. And it's hurt. I'd rather it be hurt than me. Do be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel... compassion. Compassion? You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Mm. 
The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster, death is too good for it. Mm -mm. I already have one since you said I needed it. <laughs> Can I even reach this? I can't. I have to jump up there. Oh, wait. I can run over here and get up, right? Nope. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Shadow Heart just climbs up there very easily. Here, watch my guy real quick, babe. He's gonna climb down, right? Oh, nope, he didn't do it that time. Can I not get down that way? <laughs> He's gotta sit down and then hop down. Or hop off or whatever. Dead goblins over there. You see a short sword Worth looking checking for supplies, maybe. No. That's a scimitar. See how it says goblin scimitar? As uh, at least the way I pronounce it, I might be pronouncing it, or I might be pronouncing it completely wrong. But What's going that's on how that I've room? always looks unstable it. somehow. Because I'm awesome. Why else? <laughs> you don't want to go to that portal? We don't have to. I want you to touch it. Right. <laughs> uh, sure. You approach the sigil oh. on the stone. Did you touch Magic it, or was that glitters me? and swirls okay. from it erratically, <laughs> as if malfunctioning. Because it said listen, and I wasn't sure. It looks slightly dangerous. Were... That's what she said. A hand? Anyone? <laughs> you don't want to put a bonus on. Jesus, you really don't need these bonuses for me. <laughs> Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. This is our wizard if you ever want to use a wizard. That's what he is. I don't need to apologize. Uh... <laughs> a bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating 
excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers. It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? Look like it. Hands are better suited. Less delicate. I can offer you a swift end, but I can't cure you. I suppose few enough can. Not exactly a common <laughs> affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we oh, lend shit. each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? The plan. But, um, I think, uh, I'll pick you up on your offer. Pretty. Are you certain? There might be danger around the next corner, and a wizard is excellent company to keep. By the way, um, when you say, like, hey, you don't want them like that, it means they're going to go away from your game completely. So if you want yeah. them to... Well, our party is full, so if you say, hey, I'm going to join, you, you can join me, they'll say, oh, your party's full, and then they'll go back to camp. <laughs> so I should say, fair enough, yes, I'd like you to join me. Yeah. Just to make sure it doesn't run away. Well, I mean, he's not going to run away. He's just going to leave the game and... Really? Yep. I just figured I would let you know that because I... That'd be cool. That I could camp either way. Nope. You're welcome. Oh. But I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Perhaps I can join you later instead. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. Okay, bud. Good. So right here, these are fast travel points you can use. But also, if you go to the map with the middle pad, you can just hover over them and fast travel to them if you want. Wherever you want. Hmm. Um. Ah. Um. No time to rest. See where the tentacles are? Down there. That's where we came from. Down. Lower. There. Yep. Up a little bit. That's where we started, and we explored all that over there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's not even close to how big this first act is. This first act could legitimately be its own game. There's three different areas you can go into in this first act. No, we can get a shovel and dig that up. We don't have a shovel yet, but... Just a, a, a point of advice and take it or leave it. But with Astarion, because he's a rogue, he does better when he's sneaking. So if you're ever going into a battle, you feel like you're going to go into a battle, um, you can always ungroup him to chill out. And then if you do get into a battle, like, let's say dialogue fails. People are like, oh, we're going to fucking kill you. At least you have a backup to come sneak up behind somebody, you know, use an arrow to the back of the head. You're not. I'm just saying, like, it's almost like your intuition. If you feel like, oh, this is a dangerous situation, let me just ungroup him and, you know, just giving you options, babe. play a lot of rogues. <laughs> hmm. Oh wow, What's another that? place to dig up. Just being careful. Like my mum always said, 
Wolves rush in. I'm just exploring. I swear to God, I was like, if I have to jump up this little bitty fucking <laughs> piece. I'm all nimbly dimbly. You go twice as tall as me, but I'm off the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. No harm, I'm just... First you look, then you touch, then you take. The only thing we are sharing with you is our pointy ends. Get her! <laughs> Starion. He would have to go all the way around you. See, he's got to go all the way over there. Unless he jumps around. Like he jumps over you. Mind me, babe. Ye. Oh, put me to sleep. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, yep. What's new? You're choosing a reaction. You can use reckless attack. It's free and it like you go over here, hit R3. Gain advantage on attack rolls at the until the end of your turn, but enemies also have advantage against you. gonna go away as soon as you uh, end your turn rage if you want to keep it you have to hit somebody or get hit yourself um, after your turn ends if not rage ends it's okay oh that bastard 
was hoping to push him off, but I am not having a very lucky <laughs> time with Shadowheart. Or, I don't know. Phrase that all fucking weird. Who knows? I think, and I'm not sure, but you may be able to get a sneak attack. I think he's flanked. If they're flanked, you can get sneak attacks because that's going to give you advantage. See how... Oh, oh yeah, you can. Got a 65% chance. Nice. Like you stabbed him in the head. <laughs> yeah, if they're flanked or there's two um, people... Uh, I think it's two people at least one or two people that are encountered right next to that enemy You have advantage so you can use your sneak attacks Which is going to boost all your attacks It's asking you if you want to do reckless attack <laughs> Damn Critical miss I'm still asleep <laughs> I'm not used to getting put asleep because I normally play as a half elf and they can't be put asleep. Can see if uh, Starion can use uh, sneak attack. Oh yeah, an ally is within. Ma All right, went away. Never mind. <laughs> You're targeted onto yourself. You're gonna have to zoom out. Okay, there you go. Sometimes you gotta move the camera a little bit. Get a better angle of it. Alright, I'm gonna take this asshole out. And I'm gonna do it by... Throwing... This. Hope this ends well. Wow, that did pretty much nothing. Oh well. Um, I don't want to use another Bardic Inspiration right now. I'll just play some music. And then my turn. For some good vibes. dead gotta remember the hotkey is up on the d-pad <laughs> see all because of my music they missed you distracting them me ruining my sweet tunes I'm gonna shoot her let's end this oh you don't have a melee weapon do you 
Alright, I need to get a melee weapon on her. Or not a melee, uh, <laughs> range weapon. She's got a melee weapon on her. <laughs> That's dumb of me to say. <laughs> There you go. I gotta use the restroom here in a second, babe. After this encounter. Oh. Do you gotta use the restroom while we're... Okay. So if you want, I can just play some tunes, leave the... You to explore. You cool with that? Nice. Good job and you kept your rage so I mean there's that you were angry the whole time what's inside um no that's usually for like wizards monks stuff like that I'm gonna send this to Starion all of this to you and I gotta pee so bad <laughs> I'll get up in a second I'm just being lazy about it oh I found a shovel I'll send it to you putting this stuff now you can dig up some places Oh, I didn't mean to take that, son of a bitch. Some bitch. Ah, there we go. I'm going to put that on Shadow Heart. You see another short sword, let me know. I'm trying to dual wield some short swords. Oh, I keep doing that. I'm ready. There we go. Um, is that blood? No, never mind. Okay, now I'll be right back. Um, I'm gonna let you do your thing and then uh, use the restroom. I'll be back, everybody. All right, everybody. Sorry about that. Really had to go to the bathroom there. Uh, it is two. Yes, <laughs> had to remember the uh, the uh, tab, the whatever. I can't think right now. Mm, yeah, the key. The button. Good job. Look at look at you. I sleep too. Yeah. Oh, nice. A lot of stuff for a Starion. That just goes up to the top. Thank you, Gibblebook. Everything all right out there?
Let me in right now, buddy. Yeah, I've got plenty more friends. Come in here and you can meet them. He's not going to let you in. Yeah, it's a shovel. I scoop it up. I gave you one. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You have to hit square. And then, see how it says down there, lockpick? Don't let me in on this <laughs> Use the star yet again. Oh, wow. That was awesome. Why well, didn't think I was going to step on it as soon as I came through the door? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm just a bumbling idiot tonight. Just bumbling around. We should take a short rest since everybody. Keep looking. Yeah. So, see where it's like. <clears throat> I guess it's supposed to look like a closed eye. Doesn't really, but these we get two short rests, and then if we want to replenish that, we have to take a long rest. Okay. Oh, welcome, rest. All right, cool. We're healed, but they do know that we're here, so yeah. Let's see what you're hiding. We'll get through this. Time for discretion. Remember what I said, you can also what, can split them up, the up and assess a situation. So then if you chance. want Starion to go Maybe first, get first hit. The mission has to come first. Yo, what is what's up, Marie? Um, no, I don't feel 100%, but I feel a little bit better. Thank you for asking. Shut it. This is no time for joking around. I don't recognize this. Who's worshipped here? You're too far away. And you're at disadvantage because they know that we're Nothing. here. They're oh, alerted. Please. Yeah. I mean, you might still be able to. No. Well, go do it again real quick. Sneak attack right there, range. But they're further away. So try the ones that Keep see looking. where that white circle is. See, you have advantage. This place now. is falling apart. Could have happened by itself. No such so I said you can zoom all the way out where it's, in my opinion, tactician mode. <laughs> Applause to me. <laughs> it's always a trap. Uh, yeah, for sure. You're not lying there, Marie. How you doing, by the way? I hope you're doing well. And they are surprised, so they will lose a turn. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to use a firebolt. Out of sight. Out of mind. Oh. Damn. Alright, well, I'm not going to use a firebolt. <laughs> You're eating fat snacks? What's that? Are you just saying fatty snacks? I know that feeling. 
me and the wife uh, have a tub of popcorn that she had got for uh, Christmas. And we have been eating the shit out of that stuff. So good. It's, what is it, white cheddar? Cheddar, cheddar, butter, caramel. Butter, cheese, and caramel. One of the nice. original. Yeah, it's got like the three different slots where each popcorn goes in. Hot dogs and fries, nice. I am not a fan of hot dogs. I don't like the taste of hot dogs. Ugh. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm a prissy, prissy man. I would starve to death before I uh, ate hot dogs. By the way, I'm gonna put long strider on you. Now you will be able to move further. You'll have more movement speed. <laughs> How dare you! Oh, I, I like kibasa. Kibasa, um, you know, brat, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I like that stuff, but I don't like hot dogs. The only way I can choke a hot dog down is if you, like, smother it in chili and cheese and onion. So I'm not even eating the hot dog. Like, it literally needs to be, like, dumped in a bowl of chili. Just, just put the whole hot dog in a bowl of chili. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's actually I I do enjoy chili dogs. It's the only time I'll eat a hot dog. Holy shit! She needs to move out of range here. And then did it just freeze? Oh, did we just get a crash? I think we did. Oh. Hold on. Let's put the Be Right Back screen on, everybody. It, like, hard crashed on us. One second, everybody. All right, we're back. Oh, man, I can't believe it did that to us. Man. I don't know if you have a PlayStation 5 or not, um, Marie, but Baldur's Gate 3 is a really, really good RPG. <laughs> it's like I never left you guys. Well, if you ever get a PC or you get a PS5, Scoop this game up. You will not regret it. Or maybe you will. But I don't think you will. Chapel entrance. That's our closest auto save. Sorry, babe. Sorry for the hard crash. Probably not going to stream too much longer. Um, we'll probably get through this section and then we'll end stream. Uh, just to give everybody a heads up. Me and Lucy are probably going to play um, this game off stream as well. Uh, but we're going to stream some of it um, as well, too. So it'll be a little bit of streaming with it, a little bit of not streaming with it. Yo, K9, what's up, my dude? <laughs> Buy me one, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> I'm broke as shit. <laughs> oh, cool. Now I won't fucking blow us up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll wait to come through the door. So you're finished doing your your thing. Um, How you doing, by the way, K9? Oh shit! I forgot that I have to do that every time. Multiplayer. Sorry, on there you go. Sorry about that. This place is falling apart. Could have happened by itself. We did. We did have a good uh, Christmas. I hope that you did as well. Whether you cel celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or, you know, any of that. Hopefully it was all uh, good and fun and you had a good time.
Also, look at that. Like, you see remaining, like, fully visible. You'll see a sun down there. See, lightly obscured down there. And then the darker it is, the more you're obscured. Could be a trap. Just keep your eyes peeled. No, wait until you start combat. Something's rotten about this. Well, it's a crit, yes. ain't it? Rot's to be expected. Shut it! Time for joking around. Damn, you almost outright killed him, babe. No one stopped me yet. Don't want to draw any attention. Listen to you! <laughs> oh, I can't play any tunes. Damn. The enemy is surprised, though, so that is a plus. I'm glad you're doing well, though. Is it cold where you're at? Nice. Good shot, babe. <sighs> How'd that miss? No choice but to keep going. All right, let's play some tunes. Yes, like we had a little bit of snow in October, and that was it. We haven't had any snow. It's fucking crazy. Damn, I thought that was gonna kill him. Ow! <laughs> they ruined my tune. They didn't like it. What's wrong with them? <laughs> I hear that mage. <laughs> Too much to bear. <laughs> you killed who I was going to use vicious mockery on. All right, uh, I don't have enough movement now to do anything. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna, um, I guess, throw log strider on. Oh, I don't have enough. Wow. Okay, I don't have enough movement to do shit right now. <laughs> um. I, I guess I'll play some tunes. There you go. I'll do what I'm best at. I guess. Ready. Uh, can you heal my dude? Oh, he stops playing. Wow. You do anything, he stops playing. Um. Yeah, let's let's use a bow. And then I'm going to try to lure these guys out by hiding behind the wall. Funnel them in, you know? At least try to funnel them in. Oh, barbarian's using rage. Oh, I forgot to ask. Did you um do your did you do your campaign? I know 
that have been out sick for quite a while now, like uh, pretty much a month. Um, but how did your campaign go that you were working on, K9? Sorry, I, I meant to ask that. You're going to want to heal him. Nice. That was a good heal. Damn, critical miss? Awesome. <laughs> they can't hit you. One of you help me up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you up. There you go. And I'm gonna throw a potion at you too. There you go. Back to my tunes, my sweet, sweet tunes. Talk to me. Talk to me. That's what she said. Uh. Uh, all right, let's see. I need to jump. Get over. Oh, it's trying to make me use the bow. I don't want to use the bow. I was like, why do I have disadvantage when I'm this close? <laughs> oh, cool. Sorry that you had to put that on hold. That always sucks, you know? But I get it. People get busy and they have other things going on. Oh, now you can do sneak attack because uh, that sorcerer, mage, wizard, whichever one is, I think it's a wizard, is right next to uh, Shadowheart. <laughs> Fucking outright killed her, babe. Jesus. <laughs> she pissed you off much? <laughs> Just a little bit, huh? It's alright, I can always heal us, and we still have a short rest. Fast. I need healing. Now you can rage and fuck that guy up if you want. Let's see. I'm gonna use vicious mockery. And then hold on before you go hitting somebody. Bardic Inspiration. Back to playing music. You picked the wrong fight, Frank. <laughs> Take two. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> One hit point. <laughs> uh. But I can't move. I can't move away, or else they're gonna get an attack of opportunity. We're actually playing some D and D, Baldur's Gate three. Oh, wow. does nobody like my music or something? <laughs> he outright killed me. Like, no. We hate your music. <laughs> uh, Starion can get a sneak attack. Oh wait, am I close enough? Damn. You want to do like dual wielding daggers with him because then he can get two attacks because they're finesse weapons. I wouldn't dash away. You'll get an opportunity of attack. You can disengage. Disengage will allow you to step away from somebody without them having an opportunity of attack on you. <gasps> Now you can go further back. Uh. 
we should have did a save before this encounter. <laughs> uh, let's see. Just using up all her spell slots. Wow, he's got one hit Nothing point left. In my way. You know what? Can I do it? Oh, of course not. I'm gonna play my fucking sick tunes right in your face. Maybe. Play the tunes, man. You don't need an action. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't hit me, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Oof. You might be too close. You can dash away. Uh, it's up to you. You don't need to. You don't need to do anything. Damn. No good to last that much is getting fucked up right now. Don't worry about helping me up. Just kill that guy. That's their strongest character. When you see a barbarian, a fighter, or a paladin on the field, take them out first. Especially a paladin. Paladins can not only buff, but they hit very hard. Paladins probably hit the hardest out of any um, melee class. I mean, anything can hit hard, but paladins hit extra fucking hard. Sorry. All right, let's help Shadowheart up. I swear, that's all I've been doing. Um, let's throw an item at... How's your health looking? Just fine. I'm okay. He's blocking. Also, just a heads up, when you throw an item, you can throw it at them and it has a chance to hit them, but if it misses and hits the floor, as long as they're standing in it, it will still heal them. Cool. So keep that in mind. If you feel like, oh, that's not going to hit, just throw it at the floor where you have literally a hundred percent chance to hit the floor okay. <laughs> <laughs> and hit and it healing sure? them. You might miss it. I know, right? You might miss it. Who knows? All right, back to my sweet tunes. What should I do? Um, nothing because you can't. Let's get her out of here. Yes. On you, you do have long strider on, so at least I believe I put long strider on you. So that means you can go further with long strider, and you also have bardic inspiration. So there's that. Let's just do a quick save real quick, just in case it freezes again. Yeah, you can end your turn. Oh, it'll still save where it just takes a minute. Damn, critical miss. We need to up your AC is really what it is for your Barbarian, because right now she's got probably Pretty low AC. Uh, you should rage if you're not already. Oh, you're already raging. You should use reckless attack though. That's over. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Or you can actually put it on. It's down to your left. 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 Right there. Your reckless attack. 
91% chance. Cutting to the chase. And fucking outright killed him. Damn. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, I gotta take my sweet tunes off. My sick jams. Uh, and I'm gonna jump over here. There we go. What? I don't need movement speed to. Okay, whatever. <sighs> Should be a bonus action, but I don't know. Just not today. Wow. Okay. I suck. Got to move. Um Oh, there it is. Oh, thank Jeebus. On you, baby. Damn. Oh yeah, your reckless attack, uh, or yeah, never mind. Yeah, reckless attack stops <laughs> every turn. My bad. I was thinking of your rage. Nice, good job, baby. We need a short rest. Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Um, probably need one more because the Starion is looking pretty rough. You cool with using one more? Watch your back. Oh, I'll feel that one later. All right, everybody's healed. There's a dagger over here for Starion. I'm exhausted. Better find and some simple to toxin. Soon. You can coat that with your bow or uh, your blade, and it'll poison anybody you hit. Taking that though. Ah, short sword. That. And there's a bandit key. I'm going to take that too. Everything else I left for you to loot. I'm just saying. Remind me, I have uh, barrels to pick up. <laughs> oh, right. Whatever that means. It means nothing until it's something. I love that I'm like playing with you like and you don't know the game very well because I like to see how you are encountering some of this stuff that like I encountered a million times because you know we bought it when it was still early access on the PC but just to see you um, play through it is is really awesome. short sword now I have two short swords trust no one uh short swords I believe are finesse weapons right pretty sure they are yeah they're finesse. no lock no handle how does it open
by the way, you, I think it's at level five, you'll be able to upgrade uh, extra stats. And, well, so like your strength and all of that, if you want to put an ex two extra points into it, one or two extra points into it, you can. Pretty awesome. No lock, no handle. How does it open? No lock, know. no handle. How does it open? I don't know. How does it open? <laughs> I love how I'm just throwing a bunch of stuff into your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> I love how you're a barbarian. You just broke that door down. <laughs> And there's another way to go about it. It's just that's the stuff that I love about uh, playing, like, and seeing how you handle things. It's awesome. Wow. Well, I got the job done. <laughs> that's for <laughs> sure. You can also hit L three if you're trying to. Like, hover over something in particular. Use L3 and then do it. It'll make it a little easier for you. You're all good. Keep exploring. <laughs> exactly but in D&D you just can and I love that Larian Studios just thought about like whatever you want to do just have at it which is really hard to do in RPGs to give that well hold on in RPGs that are in video game form oh you know, I it's like very it. hard to do that. Holy. Have you seen any gameplay on this, um, K9? Or no? So after we get through this um, dungeon, I think we'll call it quits on stream. Sound good? Unless you want to keep going. We can make it to the grove if you want, which isn't far. Totally up to you. You just let me know if you want to continue stream after this dungeon or not. Nice. It's a ton of fun. Uh, probably my favorite game. No, not probably. It is. It's my favorite game at the moment. Traps. How considerate. We own it on PC and PlayStation now. Trying to check me out, baby. Huh? Check you out real quick. Oh, no, that's a door. <laughs> I'm checking out a door. What, the trap? Right here. Were you trying to look at it? Again, remember L3. L3, so you can use your cursor. So I'm stepping back. You're scary. <laughs> You're scary. I know, right? I walk into rooms and blow us up. Maybe. Gotta work, walk further in. Those traps, they, they don't trigger by you stepping on them. They trigger another way.
Be careful. There are traps about. Hmm. Traps. How considerate. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh shit, shit is about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. That, uh, if you hit R3, I believe it's a spear. Yes. Piercing. Um, I mean, you're proficient with it. You can also throw it. If you don't give a shit about it, you can throw it at people. Like, just keep it in your <laughs> offhand with your, um, barbarian. Chuck it at people's heads. Step carefully. There's a trap. <clears throat> there. I tried to find all the traps for you. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> You're doing good though. And all these traps disarmed. I don't know if it gives you experience or not. Yeah. <laughs> there is. There's definitely a button. Step carefully. There's a trap. Step carefully. There's a trap. Just showing some of the traps. I think I have high perception. Trap. Be cautious. Are you really going to disarm every single trap, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Huh? I don't know because I did the same shit when I came through here for the first time. <laughs> oh, that hammer is really good for you. Heavy armor, not so much because barbarians don't use heavy armor. Um, but you can sell it. So. I mean, we want as much gold as we can get, which is funny in D and D you get copper, silver, and then gold. I'm glad that they just stuck to having just gold because that shit doing mathematical equations to figure out how much copper and silver you got to add up to gold and <laughs> you don't like math? No actually pretty shitty at it <laughs> uh. there we go I'm gonna rob these corpses um scribes no sign of a struggle I'm gonna send these daggers to Starion. I wonder what was so want to dual wield about some daggers. Words, that they commanded protection. Give it give him um staff. No. Uh that's usually for like a wizard or a monk. Uh normally monks they can use quarter staffs, but they're better with their bare hands. Because they got like flurry of blows and shit. Sorry. Big time nerd, baby. I apologize. You're married to a nerd. How does that make you feel? Okay. Bye. Does that mean it's not good, but it's not bad? It's just I. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I did just loot that. 
I'm retarded. Yeah, loot the world, baby. You want to loot everything. Try to get as much, uh... That's Jurgo, scribe of the dead. I didn't think anyone still worshipped him. Yeah, Jurgle. He's not really talked about in D&D lore very much. Uh, yeah. Sending some weapons your way. Just to hang on to them to sell. Your carry weight is way higher than mine. Like, if you look. See, mine's only 240. Yours should be 525. Yeah. <laughs> and carry a lot. <laughs> Probably carry me and Shadow Heart on your shoulders. <laughs> you damn Amazon. <laughs> uh, don't forget to, you know, chuck me every once in a while if you want. You To do that, by the way, you go into here and then you can... I think it's throw... Or improvised melee weapon. You might be able to improvise a melee weapon. Oh, I can chuck my loot and stuff. <laughs> or use a shovel on somebody's head. I think you can actually use a ham to hit somebody with too. Or a sausage. You can beat somebody with a fucking literal sausage. Make what? it a sausage party. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Oh, damn it. I hid. Tried to. I don't think I'm. Hit enough. I tried to run before. <laughs> it's fine. I am in a very bad oh, position. <laughs> Something just woke up. Uh. All right. I don't think. Oh, I can. Long strider on you. Um, this way. All right, I guess I'll play some tunes. They, uh, see, you cannot get a sneak attack. You have to be already sneaking and not visible <laughs> or have advantage. Silence the area. Stopped my uh, music playing. They were like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, let's see. She can jump. If she wants to, she can leave her friends behind. Remember, try to jump first and then take your movement. I did. Oh, you did? You sure? Ooh. You have long strider, so you'll have extra movement regardless.
Can't make it to him. Yeah, you're too close for that, so you're gonna have disadvantage. I don't ask me why it's disadvantage at point blank range. Glad I stole his sword ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> there jeez I have like zero movement speed yeah I can't do much um I yeah that's interrupted yeah I'll hit that guy sweet I can kill that guy can't keep a good bard down Uh, yes. Not just once, but twice. Um, all of that has disadvantage, so I will bash this motherfucker. Right in his, ne never mind, never mind. I'm not gonna do shit. Right in his Ray of Frost. That's why my movement speed is reduced, isn't it? No. I'm just short and have stubby legs. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is Ray of Frost that is reducing my movement. Come on, then. Ooh, critical hit. Damn. You ladies, I don't know, hit him. <laughs> I'm just messing. <laughs> I really love that Ray of Frost, don't they? Oh shit! <laughs> they were like, yeah, keep talking shit, Mr. Wade. Oh keep talking shit. I'm gonna get right next to this guy. Oh, I can't. Oh well. Oh, you already killed him? Damn. Uh, that's who I was going for, too. <laughs> Alright, uh... I think I need to be closer to use Vicious Mod for me. Uh, no, no. What about... Never mind, it's Vicious Mockery. And that's all there is to it. Yeah, it, it did nothing. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to do anything, to be honest. By the way, um, I believe silence is a concentration spell, so if you hit them and break their concentration, because they have to make a concentration, not concentration, um, I think it's a constitution or a wisdom saving throw, if they miss that, then that spell goes away. And silence is gone, and he is dead. All right, let's move over here, and then I will just shoot his punk ass and critically, critically miss. Critically, what the fuck was I even trying to say? <laughs> Don't linger. 
It is constitution? Thanks, K9. I wasn't sure. I was like, wait, is it constitution? Is it... Or, yeah, cons yeah, constitution. <laughs> or is it um, wisdom? I know you would know. <clears throat> we didn't do bad in that fight. Now, button presser, we can go through that door. <laughs> what door? The door that that button opened when the skeletons all woke up. You didn't realize that? I think you just forgot. <laughs> That's all it was. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. You like playing as a Starion, don't you? That right there, that necklace, uh, the amulet of the lost voices, if you hit R3, get a cool tip, you get speak with the dead. That's normally a level 3 uh, spell, which means you won't normally get it until you're level 3, if you're a wizard um, or a sorcerer, you know, okay. all of that. But putting that necklace on, it doesn't matter what class you are, you can use that spell. Nice. So I would take that so you can speak with dead people. Okay. You, you can talk to dead people. You can put it on uh, Starion or you can put it on um, whoever. You, a Starion. I don't need to talk to dead people. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Are you sure you don't? I don't know. There are some dead people out there that we just killed. <laughs> just go to the melee weapons where the dagger is not. Like there's an open slot. And then you can put one of your mini daggers on there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, they're all just regular daggers. But you want to have like two daggers or just two of the same finesse weapons. That way you can get an extra hit. And it, it counts as your turn. You get two hits with a finesse weapon. Not a single finesse weapon if you have, if you're dual wielding that is. What a day. Sure. What's your story. You play it. I guess. <laughs> I mean, just play the way you would play. Sounds like you're getting sleepy, huh? I mean, it is 1 a.m. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Kind of stupid. Wrong end of it. I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes, yes. So, I ask again, 
What is the worth of a single mortal life? Life is value. Parents sacrifice. And thus balance is achieved. If all are at war, none can win. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. That's <laughs> Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes a. Oh, you're gonna want that for, um, for Starion. So with this. For 10 turns you can put well when you coat it on a dagger or, or a weapon or you can coat it on your crossbow too so i'm gonna send that to starion Let's see mm, i'm gonna take that just in case i need it and i'll give that to you and that to you these soul coins aren't going to matter until we get a certain um companion okay i would hang on to it for a companion we can get we can give them soul coins and it'll power them up i'll give up now so that's something you want to do Yeah, Withers is just gonna walk around. <clears throat> kind of reminds me, uh, like, of a red mage, but I don't think that's what they were going for with Withers. These chambers. Because they were just super evil. And they were into raising the dead. I think they were called red mages. I don't know. It's been a while since I've really delved into that. Explore. Exploring, baby. <clears throat> yeah, you'll have Long Strider on until, um, a long rest which I should have what I should have done is done long strider like this and then everybody gets close to me and then everybody gets long strider yeah. okay like oh my god I just went in the water let me back up <laughs> okay, then. yeah just a little scared I'm scared <laughs> Deep, or are you gonna drown? Yeah. <laughs> it was it was more than ankle deep. Sure. Yeah. My tiny little nubs can't swim that good. <clears throat> mm hmm. You can dig up this now. We have a shovel. Oh, yeah. Anytime you see a dig spot or find a dig spot, you want to dig it up because it's always going to have a treasure chest. Whether there's something good in it or bad, which definitely needs some healing potions after our fights. Yeah. But, um, you know, 
you never know what you're going to get. Even if it's like something that sucks that you don't need, you can still sell it. So, you know what I really mind. miss about Baldur's Gate? The food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't oh. care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. <laughs> Rare as can be. Dripping. <laughs> Look at a star, oh, young unless man. we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. <laughs> Mind flayers have teeth. They're, they do. They have teeth. And their little squid fucking mouths. Their Cthulhu fucking face hole. <laughs> <laughs> Say, yes, it is whatever I say. <laughs> it's true, I promise. Okay. I thought there was another dick spot that we found, wasn't there? That was the, by the tree. There. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I was just getting confused. Just looking oh, for. Let's write that on again. <laughs> First time ever. <laughs> that I got confused. No, yeah. that that I was right. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> well, if you did more shit that was right, I would tell you more often. <laughs> oh, you're fine. I'm just Broken. kidding, babe. Must have been here a while. I'm kidding. Mm hmm You don't want to go say hi? They won't because me. Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Trying to see. Future is dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. Don't forget to add bonuses. You know, if I'm by you, you oh, can always sure. use my bardic. Inspiration. <laughs> you literally not needed any of my bardic inspiration with your He's right. <laughs> trolls. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. Blast? Use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in dire need of you. Here's the sun. Oh, you got this. Yeah. Very much. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please. Never. <laughs> um, by the way, just remember when you're role playing, role play Observe into your characters. Um, you hear goblins before you see them. Like, As you say. Their How do I put it? Their personality. Yeah, their personality. So but did I not? No no no, you you did. I'm just trying to see where is it in skills? No. Maybe it's in skills. I don't think it's in skills. So when you're choosing a character, like me, I chose an entertainer, right? right. When I do stuff that's like entertainment, like performing, then I can get inspiration for it. So I don't know what you chose as yours, there's a bunch of 
Enough, Dordley. I don't know. Get me down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. All knowing. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, damn. Let me see. Ah, character overview. I'm, uh, whatever that is. Uh, Acolyte. Oh, yeah. Eh. I mean... <laughs> Super religious, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's just like when you're going to want inspiration, you're going to want to do something with religion. Now. Which I'm not sure if your character is statted for it, but it's whatever. I don't think you have to succeed. Enough, Dordling. Get me down. As long as I have fun here. Keep your distance. Yeah, down. exactly. That's really all that matters. Hey, I found a bow on the ground. And? Yeah, that's legitimately what they're saying. You can actually go over there and hit right or left on the D-pad, and it'll hover over that for you to shoot. Mm-hmm. So see how it's like, oh, it's looking at Shadowheart? So I hit right on the D-pad, it's on Lazel, and then I hit right again, and it's on Weakened Base. And then you can just hit X for a ranged attack. See how Enough that works? Dawdling, get me down. So go where I was standing, right here. Okay. Now turn around. Now hit right on the D-pad. See see how it's like up there where it shows hit points and stuff? There you go. Now you can shoot it. Hit X. And you can do it again. There you go. See? Just like that. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. <laughs> no, she's not. But alright, I guess. And journey together. Let's... You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Very well. What's up, bro? But heed my Welcome words. The, stream, the Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Yeah, no worries, man. I understand. I appreciate you stopping by, though. No time to rest. By the way, if you ever have like a question where you're like, oh man, I don't know what I'm doing for um, my quest, you can always go to your journal. You can go into your journal and obviously the exclamation points means um, what you have and haven't, or not what you have and haven't done. But, uh, the ones that are not checked. Yes. Because these are completed quests that we've done. And these are companion quests that we're working on. And then up here is the main quest. And you'll see side quests and all of that stuff too. And then you can hit R1 and you can see your inspiration. So Charlatan, anytime that, you know, he does some shady shit, he's going to get inspiration. Acolyte, that's Shadowheart and you. Anytime you do something religious or anything like that, you're going to get inspiration. 
can only carry four inspiration at a time and then entertainer so which i doubt will happen very often and then it'll show you your past dialogues if you want and then tutorials if you're confused about something all right You have a lot of issues with the game? Why? It's such a fucking amazing game! But I understand. Not every game is uh, for everybody. Oh, I thought you were over there, my bad. I don't really know because my map's covered anyways by our names. Be careful. <laughs> I'll stick back here. Free for the taking. Uh, dick spot in me? What? Oh, you mean actual another shovel? Yeah, I got one. It's cool. Um, we might want to heal ourselves, or at least I know that I want to heal myself. <sighs> what do we have here? I don't know where you're at. I lost you. <sighs> And I can't tell on my map because, okay, there you are. Like I said, my map is covered. Not fully, but definitely obscured. I wish they would have put the name place. I get it, like they're trying to show everybody, but like on my side on the right, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like in between the split, that would have been better. Yeah, a little bit. Welcome, same side. Um, they've actually finished releasing all the content on uh, Baldur's Gate 3. It's full release. It's not getting any more content. Carefully now. Sven um, said that they're not doing any DLCs or anything. I don't think so. We can agree to disagree. They've already started working on their... Um, Next game. It is. Uh, I don't think so. They got all the classes, the main classes in D&D &D in the game. They got Dragonborn, they got Gnomes, Dwarves, Halflings, Human, Half-Elves, Elves, um, Drow. I mean, the only thing that they're missing is, um, shit, they're a cat race and then the lizard folk. So, and, and I don't think they're going to release them. Oh, and they have Gith Yankee, which are new, like pretty much a newer race. Like this is like the thing about it, like having extra stuff and whatnot, they have to go through Wizards of the Coast because Wizards of the Coast owns D&D. &D, and it was like such a gamble with them even getting uh, the rights to make Baldur's Open Gate 3. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! 
Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let go! No, they asked here. Wizards of the Coast. Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Matter of fact, Wizards of the Coast uh, shot them down their first uh, interview with them to make Gate Open the gates! <clears throat> Open the gates! Not that I know of. I don't think so. Damnable roach! Provoke the blade! And suffer its sting. What a badass. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was badass. Badass. Yeah, Wizards of the Coast can be pretty fucking shitty with that kind of stuff. Like, I'm glad that they allowed um, Larian Studios to work on Baldur's Gate 3. But when it comes to, like, their intellectual property or even, like, systems and stuff, they can be pretty stingy and um, I would say corporate about it. But no, I didn't hear that. Did not know that they did that. But it doesn't surprise me for sure. <clears throat> um, yeah, I can end that turn. Maybe. Oh, it's not even my turn. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's all big corporations, too, because Wizards of the Coast owns so much. They own D&D. &D, they own Magic the Gathering. Um, a bunch of other stuff. It, it's nuts how much they own. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't feel boring to me. I like it, but I mean, different different strokes for different folks. You know what I mean? I don't need like a million races and subclasses and all of that to uh, enjoy a role playing game. You know, I enjoy a story um, that's well told and being able to play it my way. Uh, more than having a bunch of customizable stuff. Ah. Oh, I can't do anything now. You know what I can do, though? Play some sweet tunes for you, baby. Is this my turn? Sorry, I'm being slow. <laughs> My sickle and sword. Strike them down. Yeah. I mean, this isn't really open world, though. But I can understand that. And Forgotten Realms? What's wrong with Forgotten Realms, man? I don't know. <laughs> I love D&D, &D, um, obviously. But I don't see anything wrong with Forgotten Realms. I'll bleed every last one of you! <laughs> you 
you might be able to get a sneak attack off because but you got to get closer though you're out of range at the moment If you get closer, you can probably hit that um, ward right there, or you can hit some of the other goblins. Or, well, there's one goblin and then a bugbear. Uh, yeah, I feel like the romance system in here is, like, really jarring because you're just trying to, like, talk to somebody and then automatically they're like, hey, baby, want to get into these pants? And you're like, what? <laughs> I was just asking how you're doing. So, yeah, I can see that. Um, and I don't know, like Forgotten Realms has been a thing for a long time. If you like look at a lot of the D&D &D campaigns um, for the game, they're set in the Forgotten Realms, uh, at least the majority of them, you know? So I don't know, I think it's just a natural place to put uh, BG3, you know, in the Forgotten Realms. I think people would have been upset if it wasn't, to be honest. Damn. Made that ward your bitch, baby. Nice. Gonna use your reckless attack or no? Oh, you did? That was really stupid of Will to do. <laughs> that AI just like, oh yeah, what? let's get an opportunity of attack on me. I know, right? Damn. It's on you, you could probably get a sneak attack and outright kill him. Yeah, you're close enough now. Oh, damn. That's hoping that would have. That's your offhand attack. So, because you have two daggers and they're finesse weapons, not only do you get two attacks whenever you hit somebody, but you'll get a bonus action to use your left handed uh, weapon. So, you can technically get three attacks. Oh, it's my go? I, I don't know. I seen your guy, so I was like, eh, you know, just chilling. Sorry, babe. <laughs> uh, good lordy. Let me struggle to get down here. <laughs> Trying to get closer to the bugbear. Nice. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! All right, we're going to loot this up and then um, call it a stream. If you ever see any rogues morsel, uh, send them over to me because that's how you make uh, healing potions. Rogues mo morsel. That is great for Starion if you hit R3 for your tooltip. Anytime you see anything magical, hit R3 to actually see what it does. So you can actually see, oh, well, this does this, 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 and this. Mm hmm. So that's going to help Astarion with his um, stealing. <laughs> Mm. 
the hell? Hey, let me in there. <laughs> Why is it? I don't know. Being dumb. Not even gonna bother with it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> I already tried, baby. <laughs> don't even bother struggling. We'll, we'll get more loot. I promise. <laughs> she gave it the good old college try. Alright, we going inside here and then calling it? Okay. It is 2 a.m. Alright, we will save right here. And you was ready to let them have us. Save over that. Alright. I uh, can't pause it anyways. <laughs> But what we can do is we can go back to the main menu and then we can hit is the stream ending screen on. All right, everybody, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and chilling with me and my lovely wife, Lucy, while we play some Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I want to start also by apologizing for being gone for so long. I was super sick. It super sucked. <laughs> And I'm still kind of feeling it. You know, my voice is still not fully back. Um, if I talk for a very long time, you know, I, I, it just kind of stops working for me. Uh, so we'll see how many streams I can pull off um, uh, without losing my voice again. But yeah, um, you have a you have a good night or morning or I think it, I think it's morning for you, K9. <laughs> But it was, it was really good just chilling and chatting with everybody. And I, I, I want to thank everybody for like legitimately stopping by and like just saying hey to me, whether it's like two seconds or, you know, the whole stream. Because, um, man, I felt really bad just like not streaming for so long and being like, yeah, I'm back. And then like a month goes by and I'm like out of commission. So with all that being said, I'm going to tell everybody have a good morning. A good afternoon or a good night or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne signing off. Go ahead, Lucy. Tell everybody bye. Bye. All right. Later.